Hey there, Mac Laskowski here, and we're gonna take a look at how to uh, create and add your signature um, or logo or whatever to your photos inside of Lightroom. So I did a Photoshop video too, so if you wanna see that, um, you can click here if you're just using Photoshop for this, but if you're using Lightroom, uh, then this is the video to watch. It all comes from, if, on my blog at mattk.com, um, I did a post a couple weeks ago about a new way to add a signature to a photo. You can go read that post. It talks about how this there's a company that creates these really cheap, um, and and I was really happy with the way my signature looks. So I was just sharing that. A lot of a lot of things came up about the video. So let's jump into Photoshop because you will kind of need Photoshop if you want to create your own signature. If you're not going to have somebody already make one for you. So in this example here, I already created one, but let's go. You'd open up a new blank document, and then just add a new layer to it. Okay, make sure you add a new layer to it. Don't do it on the background layer. You're gonna press B to grab your brush tool. And then if you look up here in your brush settings, the most important thing is, uh, I use a very small size, usually between three and five pixels, but the most important thing is, is to set your hardness setting up to a thousand percent or not a thousand percent, a hundred percent. You want a very hard edged brush. You don't want it to have a soft edge to it. Okay, so uh, once you do that, then you're gonna go in and just you know write your signature. I'm doing it with my mouse, and it gets kind of tedious to do it that way. You can of course do it that way if you have a uh, Wacom pen and tablet or some type of a stylus uh, that gets a lot easier. Wacom is W-A-C-O-M. Uh, Wacom.com has these really cool tablets. But uh, so if you have one of those tablets, that makes it easier, which is exactly what I used to sign my name here. So either way, get your signature on there, whether you're going to do it with your mouse or whether you're going to sign it with a stylus, get it on there onto a blank layer. So your document's going to look something like this. What you need to do now is just turn off that background layer so what you'll see here is all you have is just transparency. You see that gray and white checkered background? So that means it's transparent, which is exactly what we want. Then you're gonna go File, go down here to Save As, and the last key to all this is you wanna just make sure you save it as a PNG file. All right, so if you go scroll down through here, you'll see PNG. So that is a, a, a file format that supports transparency. And that's the most important part of this whole step of creating your signature. Um, however, you're gonna create it. You wanna make sure you save it with a transparent background. All right, so once you do that, um, by the way, can I take a quick side note? Uh, I just, I was supposed to say this in the beginning. Guys, I do uh, I, I do a lot of these videos on, on YouTube, and uh, one of the things that, that I've realized is, is if you subscribe, it makes it a lot easier for all of us. It makes it easier for me because I don't have to send you emails and bug you and all that stuff, and it makes it easier for you because these things just get delivered to your YouTube account. You don't have to go find them. When I do new videos, you'll get them right on there. So if you just click here and subscribe, if you like my videos, if you don't like them, don't worry about it. But if you like my stuff, uh, just subscribe to it, and it'll make it so much easier because you won't miss anything that way. Okay. All right. Intermission over. Back over to, we've created our signature. Um, let's go over here to Lightroom now. So how do you use this inside of Lightroom? There's a couple of different ways. You can put your signature or your logo or something custom up here, which is called an identity plate. And you just do that if you go under your Lightroom menu on a Mac, it'd be under the edit menu on a PC. Uh, down here to identity plate setup, all right? And inside there, you just choose personalized and then you can choose a graphic as your identity plate. All right, so you would upload that graphic and it'll get put right up in here. You can see I put my, uh, I just put Matt, but if I uploaded a graphic, it'll show up there too. So that's one option. Option number two is if you're in the print module, you can use an identity plate, they still call it. You can use that signature uh, down here. You can sign your prints with it if you want to. So the way that you would do that is open up the page panel over here on the right hand side you turn on the identity plate option, click in this little box here, and it says edit. So you go in there and you just choose use a graphical identity plate, locate file, and, uh, and you can see here, so what I did is I saved uh, photologo.co was the name of the company that created these logos for me. So you can see here, they give you these, uh, these PNG files, which are already transparent. So, uh, so I just kind of took, there's what mine looks like. So I just loaded that one into here. They have a small and a large version. So I just loaded the small version in here. Click okay, and it shows up right on your page. You can resize it. 
you can move it around, you can do whatever you want. So that's one option. That same option is in the slideshow module. The last one is if you wanna save this as a JPEG, then what you do is you can do it pretty much from any module. Let's say we're in the library. Uh, just go File Export. Down at the bottom of Export is a watermarking section. So all you have to do is just choose Edit Watermarks. Uh, come up here to the Choose menu because we're gonna use Graphic. Uh, come up here to the menu, and then this is where you load that PNG. So if you created your own signature, you'd have it as a PNG somewhere. If not, uh, you would just bring it over here. You can load it as a PNG. So I'll load the uh, the low resolution. Uh, let's go with the white one for uh, for this photo. Hit choose, and you'll see it kind of shows up right down here toward the bottom, and I can take that. And then as you scroll down through here, you'll see you can anchor it to different parts of the photo. So I can anchor it to a different part there. And I can even kind of choose the uh, the horizontal and the vertical offset. So if I want to really tuck it in uh, down there in the corner, I can control it. Then I can hit save, just give it a uh, Matt's signature, hit create. Uh, it's now saved as a preset. And when I export that file, it's going to tack that little watermark right on there. Cool part is, is, is that that signature can actually get used. You can, you can export a hundred photos with it. Um, you don't have to do one at a time and that signature will get put onto, uh, to every single photo. You can even tweak the opacity. I didn't do it, but, uh, you can change the opacity inside that dialog box. So for everybody out there that, uh, that wanted to do, I, I got a lot of questions how to do it in Photoshop, how to do it in Lightroom. Um, so again, there is a, a Photoshop only video. If you want to see that one, this video shows you how to make the signature in Photoshop, but also how to use it inside of Lightroom. All right. Thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you again soon.